Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a little bit of an uh, overview on the new Commoner game that just got revealed for the, for the Nintendo Switch. So, the, the game is actually another fighter game that always gets released with another rider every year. With the, That always gets released with a new season like what they did with Build an x -Aid. And I'm really happy about that. And the game looks does looks just like the PS4 version from last year with Build, but a bit updated to fit with Nintendo Switch. And the new game is also called Counter Climax Scramble Zo, which is a cool name. Which is a cool name. So we also get to play as most of the like, the ride the main riders of each season, and we also get to use their final form, from what I can tell. And it goes up to Build from Kuga to Build, which. I'm happy about and it looks like that secondary riders are also getting like their final forms which I'm hoping that they do all of the secondary riders just because of how lazy put together this is sometimes because last year there was a lot there was small content and I really hope they do a lot more content this year with the Nintendo Switch version so the main emphasis on this new like trailer for the game is Zio himself obviously just because that this is coming out with his season and from what I can tell, Zio's gonna be a really fun character to play in single player and in multiplayer just because of his variety in moves. And something as well that they didn't really showcase on the trailer, but they kind of hinted at it, is the rider armor, which he has a rider watch of build in his like wrist. But he doesn't actually use it on the trailer, just like his traditional moves with base Zio, which is something I really hope that we can use the rider armor, but Considering that this game actually releases near to the end of the year, so probably we get to see most of the Rider Arbors by then. And with it being released on with the Nintendo Switch or on the Nintendo Switch, you also get to play with 4 player local multiplayer with 4 Joy-Cons. And you also get to play with 4 player local, which is really cool that they're really using the Nintendo Switch like um, features. And the tabletop. You can also play it in tabletop with four of your friends or just two, which I'm happy about just because that you get to play this on the go. And something I really hope that Bandai do with this game is optimize it well, just because that this kind of game may take a bit of optimization just because of how many particle effects and the character models are on screen. And another like hope for mine is an 8 player mode, which is a hope but i don't really think it's coming just because of how many stuff is being rendered on screen at a time the game will also feature two ways to play with using traditional control controls with like the joy cons on the like the unit or a motion control version which is seems really basic from what the trailer shows us and i really hoped that it'll be good but it looks like it won't be that big and it's just gonna be like this little gimmick with Nintendo Switch which I'm kinda bad about which I kinda feel bad that Bandai didn't take full like use of the technology alongside Zio we also got to play as Gaze which I'm happy about and it's really obvious just because that he was already introduced like just in the first episode and the game will also feature its own original story mode which will feature Zio and Gaze as its main characters, which will travel to different timelines, I'm guessing, semi past riders, which is really cool. And what I can tell is this is also the way we unlock characters just from this like initial like scene, but I'm not sure on that. So the game will also feature boss fights. So how it actually introduces this with like a warning logo on the screen. And they feature Commodore Core, which was shown during the Comrider O's and W movie, which is, which is really cool. And I really hope that we get to fight against older, like, Rider villains. Just because from this, I, I really get from fighting against big bosses, and I really hope we do get to do it in this new game, just from its, like, initial, like, trailer. And from the look of it, the size comparison isn't... The size isn't accurate, but it's still passable. Which I'm happy about that they it was passable enough that it didn't really take away from Common Core's design that it still looks like Common Core. And from this scene as well, I didn't pick this up during the beginning, but Gate 
I mean, Zio actually transforms into the build armor from this like initial sequence with Comrade Core punching him to the ground, which is something I really am a bit dumb about not noticing. Just because it doesn't, it's not written in your face. And the game itself also have a level up system, like in an RPG, but it's not in depth, which I'm happy about that it's not going really in depth into the system. And there's only like four main categories with HP, attack, and defense. And what I'm what I can tell from the last one is special attack, but I'm not sure just because I can't really read Japanese. And also in the ending of the trailer, we also get to see like most, if not all, the writers doing their finishing attacks, which is really cool. And we also get to see the the cover or like the game itself, which looks really cool. And its release date is actually during November 29th. And it'll cost right around 6,800 yen, which is translated in US, it's actually about $68, which is more than an average game, which I find weird, but I think that's just in Japan. But knowing that this game is also going to be region locked on the Switch, we'll also pose some questions to Bandai to how they're going to handle it. It looks like there's a new, there's gonna be a deluxe version as well with the game itself, like a pin of both Gaze and ZO fighting, and the Rider Watch itself, and a bunch of posters, which I really find cool that we actually also get posters.